chapter 6. Then Job replied, If only my anguish could be weighed and all my misery be placed on the scales, it would surely outweigh the sands of the seas. No wonder my words have been impetuous. The arrows of the Almighty are in me. My spirit drinks in their poison. God's terrors are marshaled against me. Does a wild donkey bray when it has grass, or an ox bellow when it has fodder? Is tasteless food eaten without salt, or is there flavor in the white of an egg? I refuse to touch it. Such food makes me ill. Oh, that I might have my request, that God would grant what I hope for, that God would be willing to crush me, to let loose his hand and cut me off. Then I would still have this consolation, my joy in unrelenting pain, that I had not denied the words of the Holy One. What strength do I have that I should still hope? What prospects that I should be patient? Do I have the strength of stone? Is my flesh made of bronze? Do I have any power to help myself now that success has been driven from me? A despairing man should have the devotion of his friends, even though he forsakes the fear of the Almighty. But my brothers are as undependable as intermittent streams, as the streams that overflow when darkened by thawing ice and swollen with melting snow, but that cease to flow in the dry season and in the heat vanish from their channels. Caravans turn aside from their routes. They go up into the wasteland and perish. The caravans of Tima look for water. The traveling merchants of Sheba look in hope. They are distressed because they had been confident. They arrived there only to be disappointed. Now you too have proved to be of no help. You see something dreadful and are afraid. Have I ever said, give something on my behalf, pay a ransom for me from your wealth, deliver me from the hand of the enemy, ransom me from the clutches of the ruthless? Teach me and I will be quiet. Show me where I have been wrong. How painful are honest words. But what do your arguments prove? Do you mean to correct what I say and treat the words of a despairing man as wind? You would even cast lots for the fatherless and barter away your friend. But now be so kind as to look at me. Would I lie to your face? Relent. Do not be unjust. Reconsider for my integrity is at stake. Is there any wickedness on my lips? Can my mouth not discern malice? 